Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the unique function. Now, this is a really useful function that was introduced in Office 365 and allows you to very, very quickly return a list of unique values from any range or array within your workbook. This function works with any type of data, including text, numbers, dates, times, and so on. And it's extremely straightforward to use. So we type equals unique, then select the array we want to find our unique values in. And for now, let's ignore the second two parameters. They are optional. And if you hit enter, what you will get is all the unique numbers that come out of this list. And if we do this then for our other series, you'll see that we've got all our unique numbers from those lists. Now you will note that they haven't actually come out in ascending order. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either select your original list and sort it. And this works because your values appear in the order they appear in your original list. Or the second way to do it is to combine your unique function with your sort function. So if we do sort, have our unique list and hit enter and you'll see that that is then sorted. Now the second two parameters in unique. The first one is if you want to get unique numbers by column and the last one is if you want to get unique numbers that appear only once in your list. So say we want to find values that appear only once. So once again we'll select our array and we'll go for the center one here. We'll ignore this middle value, so we just put in another comma and leave that middle bit blank. And then this third parameter, basically true, means it only returns items that appear only once in your list, and that's exactly once. And your false is the default, so if you leave it blank, this is what it returns. It returns every single unique item in your list. So we want to have true here. And if we hit enter, you'll see now that this list is significantly shorter than this one because these are the values that only appear once. And the last thing we'll look at in this tutorial is by column. So if we go unique, and this time we're gonna select one of our columns. So in this instance, false is your default value. It returns unique rows. But we're gonna select this true to return unique columns. And what it will do is it'll return those unique values, but instead of putting your list vertically, it will put it in horizontally. Now, one point to note is if you put unique in where it doesn't have enough room to put the list in, you will get a spill error. But what it will do is we'll put this little dotted line around the space it needs and you'll be able to see why you're getting this error. Now, unique is an extremely useful function to use. You can use it in longer formulas to create really dynamic workbooks. We'll look at some examples of these in future videos, but if there's anything particular you'd like to know how to do, please do leave me a comment as I'll use this to inform future videos. I hope that you found this short tutorial useful. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.